Ooh, we might have got lucky, dude. We might have found it. What's up, dudes and dudes to the internet? My name is Anthony. We are back here with some more Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today we're going to be exploring a little bit more of the desert, if you don't mind, because it's a very beautiful place. But if we check out, where, where is it? If we check out on the pictograph here, where is it? There's this, no, there's this picture right here, which is exactly where we're standing here at the Carab Carab Bazaar? Is that what this place is? No, that's not what it's called. I don't think so anyways. Uh, Cara Cara Bazaar. Okay, I nailed it. Uh, there's all sorts of crazy other stuff that I've actually found out in the world. Uh, not including most of these markers. Any of the leaves are uh, Karok seeds that we're going to end up getting eventually, not necessarily today. Uh, the stars are point of, points of interest, so this is, of course, Lake Hylia. And for today, we're going to be trying to finish up a little bit more of the desert over here. And then hopefully be able to complete one of the quests that actually has us going through the canyon uh, down this way. But, oh man. Man, there's been so many other crazy things I've actually been finding all over the map, including a new stable area uh, that I'm very excited to show you eventually. But this is our first actual memory that we're going to end up recalling by being at this specific location. So I'm very curious to see what's going to actually end up happening here. Really, really weird. Yup, I get it. That's that's your memory. Now, it'd be nice if they had a very seamless transition of that picture, kind of just room, and then we were inside the memory. I think that would have been really, really cool, instead of whatever is going on right now, where he's ah, having a flashback like an idiot. What the? Okay. Uh, you would not be able to survive in the Gerudo Desert with clothes like that, sweetheart. Like, seriously, you'd have to have some, some clothes that keep you cooler, because otherwise I died in here. Why is she randomly in the desert and the Yiga clans after her anyway? Like, really? What is this? Ooh, he looks pretty cool, at least. <laughs> That's what you think, dude! I protected you before from the- Oh, why can't I have those clothes? Aren't those, like, the wimpy clothes from, uh, Wind Waker? Is this where we first met? He was- he's a Gerudo. Uh, what's happening? And why, like, I, I just realized too, why is it always showing footage as if it's through like an old camera? <laughs> I remember something irrelevant. I was fighting Yiga just as I do in my daily life and Zelda was there. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, anyways, uh, somehow, I gotta, ugh. Okay, we, we gotta go, no, stop that. We've got quite a ways to trek, dudes and dudettes, because we gotta go way down here. This is where Naboris was hanging out. And then over here is some other crazy thing. So, I'm gonna warp right on over to this shrine, and then we're gonna cross over the desert, and bada bing bada boom, Bob's your uncle. I think that's a British term, that's why it probably didn't make sense to most of you in North America, just as it didn't myself, but I've seen too many movies. Okay, so this area looks cool, to say the least. Oh, I hope there's not a bunch of Madolgo right over here, dude! That would suck! Oh, that would be bad. Now, okay, I'm terrified now, because I don't like those guys. I mean, the Madolgo are a beautiful creature, like, I love that idea that, like, that's the thing. I know all I do throughout this entire series is sing praises about this game, but I love the fact that not only does it manage to be an open world, but it manages to make almost every area unique, and also goes the extra mile of adding unique enemy types to each of those areas, right? So, is that a chest over there? I don't think that it is. No, it's not. So, I don't know what the uniqueness is to this area, outside of it being very calm and quiet and eerily scary, because I'm pretty sure this was the area where, uh... Wait, was I saying Madolga? I meant the Divine Beast was hanging out down here. Whatever, N Naboris, that's it, that's it. I don't- I, was I saying his name earlier? I don't know. Uh, but in any case, yeah, uh, this is where he was hanging out, which makes me- makes me question whether there's actually any points of interest over here? Or if it was just, oh, this is where he was hanging out. And now that we've got the area complete, because normally we would have to be dodging all of these things while we were riding on our sand seal, right? 
At least I think that's what's going on. Which also begs the question, when we actually were in the Divine Beast, we ended up cutting the rope to a treasure chest that ended up falling into the desert. Not that it really matters, you know, we know that the treasure is not going to be some god weapon or something worthwhile, but... At the least, I, I was kind of hoping that we might have been able to randomly find it down here in the desert, because otherwise I'm sure it respawned inside the dungeon and then disappeared or something. I don't know. Uh, I want to check out what's over here before I make a cut just as I walk through this area myself and kind of see what's what. But otherwise, I think... Why is there a sandstorm over here? That's terrifying, dude. Now I'm scared. Okay, of course there's a stupid Kuroke hanging out up here. Ah, you scared the bejesus out of me. I was watching TV with my kids, and then you lifted up my home. I almost peed my pants. Oh, my home, no! <laughs> oh, and by the way, as I ended up actually walking all the way to... Like, right here, I can't actually press down any further than this. If you walk over there, the game lazily, which is fine, you know, but if you get to the edge of the map, it just straight up says, you can't go any further, and that's it, right? I, I was thinking that there was going to be a little bit more to it than that, like maybe they were going to have like an unclimbable wall or something to that effect. I mean, I guess it makes sense that it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything on this giant rock. Then why is this rock actually here? I don't know, but right up this cliffside, I'm pretty sure, is the Champion's Pass, right? Because we gotta go way over there. Okay, let me get rid of this stamp, and uh, see you all on the other side. I am almost certain that there is probably a Karok somewhere in the middle over there. I mean, it makes sense the one that we got on the side, but there's gotta be something in the middle there, dude. Technically speaking, I'm pretty sure we could have cut up this cliffside here, but I want to do this the organic way, kind of check out what it is that is significant about the Champion's Pass. I think that's what this area was called, right? Uh, and then on top of that, we actually do have 50 Rush Rooms, which is uh, a quest that Hopefully we'll get to turn in today over at the uh, Gerudo stable that's nearby or whatever. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I, I also wanted to point this out just because I did off camera. As I was fighting a fire mage kind of in the northern area near Mount Doom, uh, he actually ended up doing a charged attack with his, uh, his fire staff. Get out of here, you. Which uh, ended up actually making him throw meteors from above. Which makes me question whether or not we can actually have different charged attacks end up happening when we charge our staves, right? Or staves, however you want to pronounce it. Because I did actually charge the electric staff once, and very similar to Feroche, the big beautiful dragon that's in the jungle, or at least that's where I encountered him. Uh, but over by that guy, Whoopsie Daisy! Come on, Link! Hit the guy that's right in front of your face, you stupid moron! Like, seriously! Okay, there. I'll just kill him with an arrow. In any case, I did. Charged attack with the lightning staff, and uh, it ended up creating a whole bunch of electric orbs all around our character. I don't know whether or not they actually homed in on the enemies, though. Why is this a champion's pass? And these, le like, these these loser, like, really, really easy Lozolfos tell me that we were probably supposed to have come to this area uh, a long time ago. Okay, this guy's a little bit stronger. Yeah, he's definitely a little bit stronger. Okay. Okay. There we go. I got a nice arrow right on his tongue. Okay. Woo! That's, uh, that's one of those tri-shot uh, boomerangs as well, which we can drop. Oh, I'm actually carrying lots of garbage. <laughs> Good. Uh, but anyways, I, I like the fact that this area seems to be really, really easy enemies because that tells me that we were probably supposed to have come here a long, long time ago. That guy was a little bit stronger, but not really strong enough to be worth mentioning. What the? Are those electric keys? Yeah, those are electric keys. Okay, these guys are going to suck if I don't actually defeat them with a spear properly. This will deal with all of you. Can you please target the one that's right in front of your face, Link? Like, seriously, you just... He does that way too often in this game, dude. That mop is beautiful, though. I, I love the physics on it. There's just something about it where it's like... I, I don't know. I just always find it really, really uh, appealing to see it. Okay. I don't know why I made duck noises for it. Hello, lizard. You go ahead, do your jump attack, and then I will attack you from behind! Get wrecked! Oh man, this weapon's actually 
pretty darn powerful, dude. Okay, can you grab all the goodies? There you go. Uh, kind of, kind of surprised that this canyon right here has been so uneventful. Not really worth checking out. Like, there's a whole bunch of lizards down there, but you know what? We're not playing Zelda the legit way. We're, I don't even know why I didn't take, like, the shortcut of just climbing over the mountain. Actually, no, now we do. We climbed over the mountain, or didn't climb over the mountain, and took the legit pathway so that we could get this delicious Kurok seed, right? All right, that's just the most obvious one I've ever seen. Boom, boom, boom. This, this is what I usually do off camera, is just farm these little guys just as I find them. I actually found a lot of them. We're on 29 seeds right now. I found so many of them off camera, but I haven't actually, like, I, I, I didn't bother grabbing footage of any of them. Not that I ended up getting them either. Like, I, I found them, and I want to end up uh, getting them kind of over time with all of you, uh, rather than just kind of doing what I've been doing, right? Just, just been... Playing, playing this game kind of my own way a little bit more. What the? Is this a labyrinth? Okay, this cliffside is a lot steeper than I thought it was. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Do we have something that can restore my energies? Um, okay, no, we don't. Is there, is there a way that I can stop up on the cliff here? Okay, it looks like we might actually be good up over here. Is this legit a labyrinth? Cause that would be, that would be quite surprising to just be like, Hey, I was sitting here the entire time. I didn't think that it was a labyrinth. Okay, we're good. I didn't think it was a labyrinth. Most of all, I'm holding up. Why was he not doing anything? Because of the way that it looks on the map. You know, like it's not really like a maze or anything like that. I thought it was actually... I mean, I don't know what I thought. I was kind of expecting it to be, like, a big base area or something. Like, maybe maybe a giant Yiga... Like, a Yiga building or something. Not necessarily the same as the hideout, right? But if that's the case, and it is a labyrinth, we could potentially end up spending the entire episode here, folks. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's a labyrinth. Okay. I mean, at least it doesn't seem to be nearly as crazy... Uh, as any of the uh, the other one that we ended up seeing is this a labyrinth? It certainly doesn't look like it is Okay, so there's bad guys up on the walls uh, But it's not like flying guardians or anything. So I don't really think we're gonna run into that much trouble South Lumai labyrinth it actually is Okay, I don't know where we're supposed to actually like officially go then I guess we'll do it the legit way rather than being up on the walls because, uh, to you who sets foot here, my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same as the other labyrinth. In case you're just tuning in, there's a shrine somewhere in here. And we got to find it. Now, I'm hoping... <laughs> for the first labyrinth I discovered, which was the one that was in the top right of the map, um, got very, very lucky and ended up actually taking the first pathway through it. So I'm hoping... This looks like a trap. Oh, there it is down there. I'm hoping that we can end up getting that same luck that I got last time. Is this a dead end already? Is this a dead end? Okay, it is. Ew, gross. Well, uh, when, like, as I'm traveling through certain pathways and stuff, I'm gonna try and make as little cuts as possible in this area. Just, I, I mean, you know, if I'm, if I'm at here in this area for like a billion years or something like that, sure. But honestly speaking, this labyrinth does not look like it's going to be very, uh, big. And I would hope, like if I'm backtracking, of course I'll end up cutting that. But I want to try and keep this a, a little bit more coherent than the maze last time. Because it was so cool when I ended up just randomly finding the, uh, proper pathway. And... It's like we, I ended up making uh, a couple cuts in the video, and as I was editing it uh, and checking it out after, I realized how it was a bit confusing uh, for people that were actually just spectating and watching the video, right? Or at least I was confused. Okay, so... Oh, so we got some goo over here. That's interesting. Does that mean... Uh, like Calamity Goo, does that mean that we're going to have to find the eyeball somewhere around this maze to end up, uh, like, getting rid of the stupid thing so that we can actually end up, uh, I don't know, climbing through another spot? 
Okay, so it seems like we actually just went full circle there. Doesn't seem to be anything on top. Gotta keep a very close eye on these second levels and stuff, because otherwise it, you can end up very easily missing stuff. That's what I found uh, as I was kind of exploring the other labyrinth off camera. Now, that said, it, you know, kind of, kind of similar to how I was saying two seconds ago, if I'm gonna be here for like five zillion years or doing five million hours of backtracking and stuff, then I'll definitely cut it. Like this, so far, uh, we've actually ex uh, explored from the front, looking in, outside of just over here, whatever is over here. Uh, we've already explored the bottom left square, let's call it, like looking, looking at the map from... Oh. Okay, so ignoring the entrance then, we'll look at it the proper pathway. So, outside of this one corner we gotta go through, we've explored the top right thingamabob. Uh, and then I'll teleport over to the next one, but I want to- ooh. I want- I want to see what's what. Oh. Is, is this just the, uh, spot that we ended up coming in? I think it is, right? Cause then there's the calamity? Yeah, okay. Alright, I might be missing something. Because as I was traveling along the edge here, there was actually no way into this bottom right segment. Uh, and it seems like even over here, we're actually coming in somewhere around the middle, so... That kind of tells me that this place might be a bit more confusing than- ooh. Might be a bit more confusing than the other one, uh, just because we might have to kind of- uh, even with this calamity as well, it seems like the labyrinth itself might be a little bit different. Rather than it being a big, expansive labyrinth that's all confusing and stuff, uh, this one might be more focusing on getting rid of the calamity so that we can progress to another section. Kind of a, an easter egg hunt inside this maze, right? Because otherwise, look at this! We actually have another area right over here that we can't get through because it's all barred off. Ooh. Alright. Well, it's interesting, for sure. Uh, but I'm really hoping that we can end up getting somewhat lucky. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Now we're talking. Let me grab this chest and see what's what. And then otherwise I wonder what's behind us. Gold rupee! Oh! Okay! I hope that wasn't just the treasure and there is still, like, a proper way for us to go. That is where the eyeball is, for sure. If I've ever seen it, I think. Now, can we- can we climb the walls while we're in here? Yes, we can. So we could actually climb over to the other side of that goo. I will do that in two seconds here, but I want to see what's actually over here first. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the calamity. So that's actually a really nice marker, at least. Uh, and then I don't know where we are right now. Okay. This is getting interesting. Maybe we don't want to kill the calamity. There is a secret treasure over there, though. In fact, I wonder if the eyeball... Maybe, maybe that's not where he is. Maybe he's hanging out by the shrine, you know? Kind of a get to the end. Yeah, yeah, get to the end and then get rid of the uh, stupid thing so that you can actually get through the area, right? Okay, this is getting a little bit crazy here. But I do see a chest. So, do we actually want to go for that? Yeah, I guess we may as well. I hope I can actually grab it instead of just- Okay, yeah, good. Whew! Okay, a Moonlight Scimitar. Inventory is full, though. But I'm still gonna try and grab that sucker anyways. Which means we can get rid of my mop. <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of that thing. Oh, man, this place is quite confusing, though. Uh, hopefully it's- hopefully it's not as bad for those of you watching at home. Ooh, we might have got lucky, dude! We might have found it! Cause last time we were in the labyrinth, these suckers were marking the right way. Wait a minute. Ooh, what is that? There's some type of crazy treasure over in there. What is that? Is that like a royal broadsword or something? That looks cool. I don't know whether it's new or not. Um, so, so, were we supposed to drop down from there, or were we, were we supposed to climb up into there? Uh, however, you'll notice that we are actually in that bottom right square segment. Remember I was saying earlier that this spot was inaccessible from the outer, uh, the outer segment. So, we might be on to something here. Maybe? I don't know though, this is getting really, really confusing really, really fast. Oh boy, um, well hopefully this is just going to end up being a circle, which it looks like it, yes, most definitely. Um, oh treasure! Okay, 
I'm down for that. We're gonna spend like the rest of the episode probably inside here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe next labyrinth. Yeah, I might I might end up doing a little bit more cuts than this for sure. But I kind of wanted to explore this one with all of you. That was kind of my goal going into this one, right? Okay, so that's all a dead end. Woo! Uh, and then this way you can kind of see how I how I problem solve, I guess, when it comes to something like this. Ooh! Ooh, that definitely looks like something significant. Yeah, there's a whole other upper level there. Okay. I wonder whether or not that's where we're- Ooh! Shrine get! Okay, awesome! So we did it! Then that means that the eyeball is somewhere else. Huh. Well, I guess we will solve this shrine. Yeah, we'll solve this shrine, and then that's what I'll end up doing. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely make cuts, and I'm gonna search for that eyeball so that we can find all the goodies inside here. Oh, that's right. This is just going to be one of these ones that just gives us the reward. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be some type of a weapon, right? So let's get rid of this. Whatever, sure, why not? Is this gonna be something worthwhile? Oh yeah, barbarian armor! That's right, it's a labyrinth! What was I thinking? Okay! Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region, the war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. Awesome, dude! So that means we only need one more labyrinth, I'm assuming there's only three, and then we would end up getting the barbarian pants, right? Ooh. Ooh! That actually looks pretty swag. I like how it actually, like, uh, gives him some tattoos and paints on his character. That's that's actually really really sick. That was our second uh, Spirit sphere by the way. Okay. I don't really know where this eyeball is dude Because this is just more of that calamity goo and maybe that's where a treasure secretly is or something But otherwise I was almost certain that that was going to be the uh, proper spot that was going to actually have the dumb eyeball that we've got to shoot well, I pretty much just backtracked through everything we already been through, so unless the eyeball is up on the surface, which is what I'm kind of suspicious of, I, I, I can't find it and I'm a little bit pressed for time, but it is a golden claymore, so I'm gonna take a nice little snappy snap snap picture of that. I think we can walk through this stuff. Uh, yeah, it seems like we can actually walk through it without dying. Well, hopefully we won't end up dying, right? Let's just do this. Go for it. Maybe this is how we're supposed to actually grab this weapon. Ah, there we go. I, I don't know, like, with that said, the other section, the other item, I should say, that I ended up seeing in the Calamity Goo was actually just a golden bow. So it might even be that there is no eyeball nearby and we were just supposed to do what we just did, right? But in any case, I'm pretty sure we actually have come across this sword once before. Very beautiful to say the least, but that is all the time that we have for today. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on, stay epic, everybody.